and I thank the lady for her fine speech. I'd like to finish the case of judgment. To conclude the case of the opposition, I call upon the opposition to
like Clay or here suggested. We are living in a state where we say no matter how rich or how poor, how educated, how stupid, how clever, how handsome, whatever, you have the same dignity of life under the status quo. There are differences in your appearance. There are differences in some of your characteristics. But your core as an individual has the dignity of being a human. When you have the mobility to change that core, you simply imply that you say that unless you change the core of your identity, your identity is not as valuable as other people's identity, ladies and gentlemen. What we claim by equality is that, ladies and gentlemen, because then we say that having a dignified life depends solely on having a perfection genetical uh, configuration. Please do sit down. Why is this bad? First of all, the mobility. Under the status quo, you still have an, have an option for mobility. You still can go to state schools in order to compete with the rich kids in private schools. You still can use your logic in order to compete with the charismatic person. There are still chances for you to mobilize yourself. What will happen if this model passes? Please do sit down. Basically, first of all, realistically, because this is such an expensive and complicated procedure, the only people that will be entitled to do that are the rich, small elites. What will that mean, ladies and gentlemen? Only a small group may be perfectionized, and you not having the means to do that, not having any chance to compete with that, will simply not be as valuable as they are, ladies and gentlemen. And you will definitely worsen off the situation of those who cannot. Moreover, you will have no chance of these two groups adapting. Moreover, what you say is that unless I change, I'm not as good. What does that mean? The people who change, you're out of order. The people who change jeopardize the dignity, jeopardize the identity of the ones who don't, ladies and gentlemen. And we believe that this stigmatization is such big a harm that even if you had the right to choose, and even if it were beneficial, the harm is a lot worse, ladies and gentlemen. Because you're saying that unless perfection, you're stigmatized as bad. And that shows equality, and that shows human dignity. And that is not just a communist statement, but a statement that we all expect. Uh, Accept ladies and gentlemen. Because the parents cannot choose for other individuals, because you cannot choose for yourself without knowing the implications, and because you are undermining the identity of people, we beg you to oppose this.